A Mills River church is helping page parents with free clothes for their children as they head back to school and in person learning. News 13's Kimberly King reports from the Seventh Day Adventist Church Mills in, in, in Mills River. That's Marlene in the background. She is with the Seventh Day Adventist Church here in Mills River. She's talking to the families, the parents. Each of them have two bags. They go in. You should see inside here all the tables are full of clothes. This is such a great program helping families as they get ready to send their children back to school. The families were waiting for the doors to open into God's closet and inside all the clothes are neatly sorted by age. About 25 parents started off shopping, looking to get all the best finds that they could. That's why they got here early and fill up two bags full of clothes for their children returning to in-person classes. They even have shoes for children of all ages. Of course, this year across the mountains, it's especially important to get their children new clothes as they head back to in-person class. I started coming here when I found out I was pregnant. Um, I'm a single mom, so I really have to figure out how to move my finances around, and doing this allows me to be able to provide in other ways for her. The first God's Closet that we had, we kind of tried to come up with a formula, and we figured we had given out 20,000 pieces of uh, of clothing, we have far surpassed that at this point. This is year five for God's Closet, and in fact, they have God's Closets at churches across the United States, a total of 40, including God's Closets, also in Australia as well as Canada. They also want to give a shout out to South Asheville Children's Consignment Store Lollipops. They say the store regularly donates gently used clothes for the effort here at the Mills River Seventh Day Adventist Church. A lot of volunteer hours go into making this happen. Church members and also people just caring enough to make these donations from area charities. Perfect little outfits for kids of all ages as they get ready for the first days of in-person learning this fall. Reporting from Mills River, Kimberly King, News 13. Skyrocketing home sales here in the mountains. This June brought a record number of home sales in Western North Carolina compared to any other June and record. News 13's Anjali Patel shows us the changes that come with all this demand. This June, houses in the Asheville area were on the market for only about half as long as they were last June. Now, this house was put up for sale on Thursday, and by Sunday, it was under contract. June was a busy month for realtors in the mountains, the busiest June on record, in fact. It was the most I've ever seen in my career here. About 1,300 homes were sold across western North Carolina last month, a 24.4% increase over last June, according to the Canopy Realtor Association. Things are pretty robust right now. Realtor Mike Figura says the rise of remote work and climate change is driving people to the mountain's temperate conditions. But there's more people wanting to move here than there are available homes. He says right now there's less than two months of inventory in the Asheville area meaning that in less than two months, they'd be able to clear out all the homes on the market if no more were added. Economists consider six months to be a balanced market, so we're way under that. And by law of supply and demand, home prices are rising. Across western North Carolina, the median sales price was $348,000 and the average sales price about $427,000 in June. That's a 24 and 32 percent increase, respectively, year over year. Prices are probably going to rise until people decide that um, it's not worth moving here because the prices are so high. He adds that high lumber prices and low interest rates are also fueling the prices and demand. And there's a real need for more and affordable options. Either wages are going to have to rise or we're going to have to have a really concerted effort to build more workforce housing. Figura says he's seeing more people moving out to Black Mountain, Weaverville, and even Old Fort to find housing. Now, the mountains provide unique geographical challenges to growth and development. Figura believes Asheville will shift toward taller, more dense development and continue filling in whatever empty space we do have. Now, Mike Figueroa says his biggest advice to people looking to move here is to make sure you have a plan. He says a lot of people are moving here without a place to live and with housing stocks so low, he says a lot of them are having to stay in hotels until they can find a permanent place. In Silva this week, workers are putting the finishing touches on Southwestern Community College's new $23 million Health Sciences Center. It opens for classes next month. In tonight's Carolina Moment, photojournalist Matt Ross shows us what students can expect to see this fall. It looks really clean, like it looks really sleek, very smooth. And then it also, when you first walk in here, it smelled, it actually smelled really sterile and 
Um, like, you know, like hospitals, like they're supposed to smell like? It's really exciting because you're the first one in here. The abdomen comes off completely. Walking in here, it is the most realistic version of an OR that I've seen in my travels. I am trying to be worthy of a program that is this technologically advanced. Looking at the numbers of healthcare workers that uh, were lacking within our region, uh, so coming together with that data and understanding the need within our region, just more and more there's just an overwhelming need of additionally trained healthcare workers. Of course, you know when you're doing cooking from a wheelchair, um, you need it kind of set up like this. Step out of your way. This one, of course, is a type of spoon um, that we might use with someone that has Parkinson's disease. Good, and we'll just leave this one here for now. Scoot forward to the edge of your chair. As a second year student, you used to really start to transition from being, okay, let's do textbook, textbook, and book work, to now we're gonna do a lot more hands-on. And we wanted to have something that was so realistic that we could practice with future potential clients. 150 milligrams, how fast? IV push. IV push over how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We're so excited about that, having the opportunity uh, to offer free tuition and fees to our students that uh, come to SCC this fall, uh, which is a huge life-changing opportunity for a lot of our students. Yes, it was super exciting to see this. This is not what I was expecting to see the ambulance. There has never been a time where opticians were not in great demand. The fact that we are able to open this program now has to do solely with the fact that we have a brand new building and allows us to expand into this space. I think they're gonna be really excited to see this space and it's gonna make them uh, more aware of opportunities and give them more time um, in the lab and it just, it feels so professional and they're gonna be really excited about having those opportunities.